welcome back now let's discuss the entropy generation in reversible and irreversible process so to understand this let's draw a pv diagram and this is your reverse any reversible process and we know that that every intermediate state at reversible process is in equilibrium right so now let's take this one and state 2 intermediate state 2 1 and 2 and they are infinitesimally close to each other and the heat transfer being executed between these two state 1 and 2 so this is infinitesimally small right so because the, the, the state are infinitesimally small to each other so the temperature of the both the state is also same the temperature dif there is no temperature difference there is a infinitesimally small temperature difference so we can say that the temperature of both the state is at t so this is the temperature at which at which the heat transfer process heat transfer process taking place is transfer process taking place right so now we add some heat to this reversible process and the heat absorbed or rejected by the system it is remain same because this is also infinitesimally small it's infinitesimally small amount of heat is added to the system and the same amount of heat is rejected by the system because this is this is the, there is no change between uh, state one and state two because they are infinitesimally small. So dq heat is added to the system and the same amount of heat is rejected by the system. So the change of entropy for the reversible process is dq by t. So entropy change for any reversible process is dq by t, right? Now let's take the entropy generation in irreversible process. So this is your irreversible process, right? So to understand this, for in, uh, the heat transfer, uh, for any irre irreversible process, the heat transfer taking place between the two finite temperature between the two finite temperatures. So to understand this, let's take this is the body one and this is body two. This is our system and there is no heat interaction between the system and surrounding, right? So the temperature of body one is T1 and the temperature of body two is T2. And the temperature of body, uh, the temperature T1 and body one is greater than the temperature of body T2, right? So heat is being transferred from high temperature to lower temperature and this body body 1 is losing the heat and this body body 2 is gaining the heat. So due to this body 1 is losing the heat the entropy of this body is decreased and the entropy of this body will be increased. In this case just remember one thing. The entropy increase increase in entropy is always greater than the decrease in entropy. So to understand this, let's take the increase decrease in entropy of this body is by let's take it is by uh, four unit, right? So the gain in entropy it's let's take it's nine unit, okay? And this is plus. So arithmetic sum of this will give you the um, change of entropy of the system which is 9 minus 4 is equals to 5 unit right now let's take now find out the body uh, sorry cha uh, entropy change of universe so this is the sum of change in entropy of the system plus sum of change of entropy of the surrounding so the because there is no heat interaction the entropy of the surrounding will be zero and the entropy of the system is five so that means the uh, entropy of the universe will rise by increase by five units so in for any system every time it is always true that the entropy of the universe is always 
positive. So for irreversible process, the change in entropy is always greater than the dQ by T and this is for irreversible process. Hope you understand this concept. Thank you.